Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this quick tutorial video, I will show you how to partition a drive on your Mac. Partitioning a drive can help you organize your data better by creating several separate partitions. As always, without further ado, let's get started. Step number one, open disk utility. First, we need to open disk utility. Press command space to open spotlight search. Type disk utility and press enter. Once disk utility is open, you'll see a list of all connected drives on the left sidebar. Click on View, Show all devices. Select the drive that you want to partition. Make sure it's the correct one to avoid any data loss. For example, I'm always double checking that the name of the physical drive I want to partition is correct. In my case, it's my Silicon Power 16GB flash drive and not any other hard drive connected to my Mac. As you can see, my flash drive has only one partition. Now, let's add a second one. Step number two, add a partition. Click on the partition button located at the top of the disk utility window. This will bring up the partition tool interface. In the partition tool, click on the plus button below the pie chart to add a new partition, also called new volume or new container. A new section will appear in the pie chart. You can drag the divider and adjust the size of the new partition. Alternatively, you can manually enter the size in the size field. You can add as many partitions as you want. Enter a name for a new partition in the name field. Choose the format for the new partition from the format drop-down menu. For most Mac users, the APFS format is recommended. Note that the APFS format will be visible only on Mac computers. If you want your drive to be accessible on both Mac and Windows systems, make sure to select the XFAT format. If you want to password protect your partition, select the APFS encrypted format and set your password. Once you are satisfied with the name, size and file format, click on the apply button at the bottom right corner of the window. A confirmation dialog will pop up summarizing the changes that will be made. If everything looks good, click the partition button to start the process. Disk utility will now partition your drive. Note that the partitioning process will permanently erase the data stored on some of the partitions. You can't undo this action, so make sure you save your data before partitioning your drive. The partitioning process may take a few minutes, wait for it to complete. Once it's done, you'll see your new partitions listed on the left sidebar in disk utility. And that's it, congratulations, you've successfully partitioned your drive on macOS. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.